Welcome back to That Dad Guy. It is November the 20th, 2024, and for my niece, it's her birthday, so happy birthday, Serena. She's 14 today, and uh, for those of you who are following along at home, the Canada Post strike is in day six. Today, we actually went out and delivered something, so there was a agreement between the union and the corporation that uh, we would go out and deliver the uh, seniors checks, the government checks that have come through. So I did go get dressed up in my uniform this morning, went out and delivered the checks to those of them that didn't have direct deposit. And uh, so some of you out there, if you're in Canada, may get a uh, surprise in the mail today. Your checks might be in your mailbox. So make sure you go out and check your mailbox because uh, Canada Post workers have been out delivering them today. Uh, that being said, uh, the strike still is on, so uh, don't be fooled. You see Canada Post trucks out there today. That's what they're doing. They're not delivering parcels. They're not picking up anything. They're not delivering regular mail. It's just those checks that were being delivered. So I was thinking, what should I do? Um, if this goes on and on, what am I going to do? Maybe I'm going to sell crack. No, not the crack you might be thinking of. I'm not talking about uh, crystallized cocaine and uh, drugs and all that sort of stuff. So... Don't uh, ban my channel for talking about it. I am talking about a dessert that we have here, and it was nicknamed Crack because once you have one piece of it, you're addicted, you don't want to stop. So I thought, you know, what am I going to do today? What kind of video should I shoot? Because I did want to put something out, and so I thought we'd do a little cooking video today. So we're going to do Crack, and it's super simple. It's a really easy recipe. It is great for the holidays, so those things are coming up, and you might be wondering what you want to bake this year. You probably have your family favorites that you do every year if you're into baking, uh, but you might want to add this one to the recipe list. Now, maybe you already have it. Maybe you know it by a different name. Maybe you've been doing it for ages, and everybody loves it. If you haven't, then uh, I'm going to show you what I use. It's only four ingredients. Super simple doesn't take very long at all to make and uh, we're gonna get to that in one moment first make sure you like you subscribe you leave positive comments you share with other people put the notification bell on so you don't miss out on anything and uh, I do a lot of different things I do a lot of things about stamps I do a lot of things about post crossing uh, maybe some things about Lego uh, some hiking videos maybe some festivals that are around town I promote the area that I live in quite a bit and sometimes I take you on some of the adventures that I do when I leave my area and uh, it's called That Dad Guy because I've got two kids. They're getting older, and but you still see them in the videos from time to time. Now, let's talk about a little bit of cooking and baking. So, what's in crack? First of all, Ritz crackers. You want 250 grams, so this is a 350 gram family size. So, I'm going to take a portion of it out before we use those. The next thing you want to have is a can of condensed milk. This is Eagle brand condensed milk. It's 300, 300 uh, milliliters. So easy pop top, scrape it out, away you go. A bag of score bits. These are Chippets brand from Hershey, score bits. And finally, and this might be the one that might be tricky for some of you if you don't have it. This is an Aero Bar. And so that's what it looks like. It's chocolatey with bubbles in it, which makes it nice and light. And uh, you're gonna need a couple of these for the top. And then you'll have a couple left over. This is a four pack, I don't need four full-size chocolate bars. I usually use about two and a half in this recipe. And then that's all you need. I get a pan like this, one you can see through. It doesn't have to be one you can see through. You can put it in a metal one. I find the glass cookware is better for baking. Your oven, you're gonna put at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And when this is all together, you're gonna put it in and cook it for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, you're going to melt the chocolate on top. And that's what all you have to do. We're going to go through a step-by-step -step with it. And this pan, I usually either spray it with Pam or take uh, a little bit of uh, wax paper and butter and smear it in just so the squares are a little easier to get out when you're cutting them after you bake them in there. All right. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take out about 100 grams of uh, the Ritz crackers out of this box or take 250 grams out of the box, leave 100 in if you wish, that's prefer. I'm going to put them in a Ziploc bag and then we are going to crush them. We want them to be fine, not big chunks, uh, but as fine as we can get it. So I'm going to show you how I do that. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set the oven to 350 degrees. So we'll get that started, get it warming up while I'm putting the rest of the things together. And you can see I am super scientific about this. I am taking the box. I am 
rough estimating how much is in there versus how much I put in the Ziploc bag. I think that's probably enough. I can always add a few more if I have to. But uh, I'm basically taking uh, most of them out. Take the Ziploc bag, seal it up, and then you can crush it with your hands. And that can be a fun way to get rid of some stress, get rid of all those big pieces. That is one way to do it. You can see I've started. I'm gonna show you how I do it though. I'm gonna get as much air out of the bag as I can and I'm gonna take a rolling pin and just crush them down. Another good way to get rid of a lot of stress. Flip it around. You just don't wanna push it out of the bag. So I'm gonna to continue to roll that and we're gonna get it into a really fine. So here you can see, it's basically a fine powder of Ritz crackers now. There might be a few chunks in there, that's all right. I take it, grab a bowl, dump them all in the bowl. And if you think that there's too many big chunks still left in there, you can smush them down. But a few chunks aren't gonna kill you, so there you have that. Then we're gonna take our bag of 200 grams score bits. These are the Hershey's kind that we're using here. Cut the top, dump them in the bowl. So you've got that mixture in there. And then the next thing you're gonna do is take your Eagle brand. We're gonna pop the top. For those of you who haven't seen condensed milk before, it is uh, this substance right here. So it hasn't gone bad. <laughs> That's what it's supposed to look like. We're gonna take a, a little spatula and scrape down the edges. So we get as much out of the can as possible because it gets a little bit like molasses. It gets a little slower as you get down to the very end, but we'll take out as much as we can. good enough. So then we have a mixture of it looks like this. Now we're going to mix it up with a spoon. Can we do that? Yes. We I've taken my pan and uh, put Pam in it. You can use butter if you like. We're going to use Pam. That's our mixture that's all been mixed up. And I'm just going to take that, fill the pan. And then uh, just push it into the corners. Flatten it out as much as you can, make it nice and even. Oh, there's the oven saying that it's ready to go just in time. And I can use the spatula I use for the condensed milk to get that little bit off. So now we're going to take that and put it in the oven for 20 minutes. Now some of you might be saying, you've put that in the oven but you forgot the chocolate. No, I haven't forgotten the chocolate. I would never forget the chocolate. We are looking at these Nestle Aero Bars. Um, you may have them where you are. You might be in Canada and it might be an easy thing to find. Uh, they may be wherever you live, but if you don't, uh, maybe you have a Mirage Bar. It's a little thicker, so it would be dicing it a little bit more, but might have the same taste to it, similar taste to it anyways. Uh, or maybe you have the equivalent in your country of a bar like this. I'm not sure what it is, but we're going to open it up. We'll show you. So Aero Bar looks like this. It's pocket full of bubbles inside, so it's light. And what we're going to do is we're just going to chop it up nice and fine. Because after the squares come out of the oven, after 20 minutes, we're going to put this along the top and it will instantly melt. And we'll just take that spatula we have just to mix it across have a nice flavor so there it doesn't have to be super thin but it's thin enough that it's not losing big chunks you want it to melt quickly and that's the nice thing about this bar because it has the bubbles in there it will melt really nicely so we'll just chop this up and I said it I use about two and a half bars this is two, and we'll just get a half out of one of the other packets here without cutting my fingers. 
the other nice thing about these type of bars is that they have a division line in them so you can just break it off leave the rest of the chocolate bar put it aside eat it if you like while uh, the squares are going or give it to someone else or it could be something for a later treat when you're watching television you got half a chocolate bar laying around all right so there's our chocolate we'll leave that for now and when everything else is done we'll put it on top well it's that time there's 20 minutes we'll turn that off open up the oven you can see it's a little bit brown around the edges that's what we want to see and then we're going to take the chocolate that we've cut and just put it across the top and because it's going to be a nice and hot it's already going to start to melt on us don't want to lose too much chocolate overboard And if you like it even chocolatier, you can cut more bar on top. You're going to find it's quite rich and delicious. The bubbles are already starting to melt. So just kind of smear that to our liking around the edges, in the middle. Doesn't need to go back in the oven. The heat of the squares will melt everything on top, as you can see right now. Like I said, if you're using a different chocolate bar, the different thickness, um, it may have a different consistency than what we're doing right here. But if it is one of these bubbled chocolates, like an Aero Bar or a Mirage, this is what will happen. And you can smooth it out as best, as much as you want. I think we are getting the right stuff for me. I don't want to lose any extra chocolate there. Too much, that can be delicious after two. There, we're gonna have that. We'll let it cool down now, put it in the fridge, and then it'll be ready for consumption. And this is called the I Can't Wait. I took a corner out before it was really cool, cool down, but they are so good. They taste like more. Well, You might be able to hear a little noise in the background. That means that I'm doing laundry too as well. So if I'm home, I've got a bunch of things to do. I can't just make crack all day long. But you can see it didn't take very long. It is delicious. You can add this to your holiday recipe if you'd like. Um, give it a try. It is fantastic. And uh, once you have one bite, you won't want to stop. So make sure you got some friends and family around to share it with. That's it for today. We will see what tomorrow brings. And uh, yeah, you guys have a magical week. Like, follow? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? <laughs>